नीट प्रिपरेशन में सबसे टफ सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स को माना जाता है मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फिजिक्स में ही सबसे ज्यादा स्ट्रगल करते हैं और अब तो नीट एग्जाम में सिर्फ दस दिन बचे हैं नीट के प्रिपरेशन में लास्ट टेन डेज में क्या करना है स्पेशली फिजिक्स को लेकर ये हमारे आज के सेशन का टॉपिक है हमारे आज के सेशन को एड्रेस करेंगे सतीश सर सतीश सर इज वेरी एक्सपीरियंस टीचर ही इज एच ऑफ फिजिक्स एट शाहीन ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन ही इज ऑलवेज फुल ऑफ विजडम एंड ही इज एक्सट्रीमली फुल ऑफ नॉलेज मिस्टर सतीश सर तो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शाहीन ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड यू नो एवरी ईयर शाहीन producing more number of mbbs seats government medical seats okay so now this year uh, in last uh, these days 10 days nearly so we have to focus on studies to improve our result okay so on this uh, uh, that heading we are mentioned is how to get 180 out of 180 in physics in NEET 2020. But ये टाइटल देखने के बाद थोड़ा स्टूडेंट्स लाफ करेगा क्योंकि दे आर जस्ट लाफिंग तो रीज़न तो है तो 180 एटी फिजिक्स में कैसा होता बोल के सो बट एवरी थिंग इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज इन फिजिक्स वी स्टार्ट एवरी थिंग विथ आइडियल केस ओनली सो आइडियल केस मीन्स यू नो आउट ऑफ वन एटी आउट ऑफ वन एटी but for that we have to try and we can achieve if you are done perfectly okay so in that first point is you have to focus on concepts which are just uh, extension to ncert curriculum that is just like uh, uh, in potentiometer comparison of emf of cells may uh, if you are use both cells at a time uh, then you will get balancing length l1 and both cells at a time in opposing manner then you will get balancing length l2 then there will be a formula e1 plus e2 by e1 minus e2 equal to l1 by l2 so such concept is little bit ahead okay similarly rain umbrella model in two dimensional motion relative velocity concept mein so like that these concepts you have to focus in the last minute one more time because general regular curriculum mein ye alag rahega so but they are not out of they are in your notebook only okay you can go through that concepts okay so that uh, uh, you will uh, you will get confidence so that you will get confidence to write the exam in a proper manner okay so next one is so if you go for the next slide here uh, daily you have to practice daily you have to practice one model paper uh, these 10 days every day one model paper you have to practice and that model paper should be within the neat level within the neat level only and you should complete that paper within 3 hours don't take extra time within 3 hours you have to finish so so that you that will increase the speed and accuracy speed and accuracy so that will help you definitely in the final examination okay and second thing in these 10 mark test what you have to consider is so practice that mark test in such a manner especially physics in such a manner first you have to uh, complete one round of easy and little bit difficult questions and the second round you will go for uh, next level of difficulty questions so that you can cover all the questions within the stipulated time okay if any one or two questions are missed then you can uh, uh, think in the last okay next slide A daily minimum 4 hours you have to uh, practice physics so most of the students make a mistake in the last uh, minute actually they are focusing on more on biology so because of it is a memory memory related topics that is why you are focus on that 
but it is not good because if you are leaving one subject completely for 10 days. So, that definitely affect you that uh, definitely decreases the confidence in the physics subject. So, that is why do not leave the physics in the last 10 days so, every day at least you have to provide 4 hours time for physics ok. In that you have to practice the questions and you have to go through different concepts formulas ok. So, that is the main important point ok next slide. So, daily daily minimum 6 hours sleep is required here because uh, you know um, some students I observed in the last uh, previous batches some students I observed that. So, during the night time it ju just before exam day they are not uh, sleep they are reading so and so this one be missed that one be missed like that they are continuously reading whole night. But at the time of writing the examination during 2 to 5 so, once they start the biology paper, so after 1 hour or 1 and a half hour they got sleep. So, automatically that will affect the examination com completely. So, you keep remember that before day compulsory you should sleep 6 hours whether the topics covered or not covered that is not a matter, but sleeping is more important in the last day also. So, every day you have to maintain minimum 6 hours sleeping so that you will be active next day whole day ok. So, these days you have to avoid the unnecessary uh, oily foods or hard foods which are not digest properly and prefer more liquid foods ok and drink more water and maintain the sound health that is more important if, uh, if you were mind is working properly then getting 180 of 180 out of 180 is not so difficult to the students who are working in the proper manner. But not only 180 out of 180 those students who are at the level of 80 so if they follow these precautions they can rise up to 100 also those who are getting at the range of 100 they can rise to 120 those who are at 130 120 range they can rise up to 140. So, they can increase around 20 to 30 marks. So, because of following these tips in the last days ok. So, that is why maintain sound health that is very very important for these days ok. So, to avoid the unnecessary tensions in the last day of examination, last day of examination you have to reach the examination center one hour before the time mentioned in, in your hall ticket admit card. So, this time is not same for all the students for one student it will be 1130 for one student it will be 1220 for one student it will be 115, but final gate closed is 1 hour 30 minutes 130 it is closed, but do not think that we will go at the time of closing. For example, your time is uh, uh, 1130. So, you have to reach that center by 1130 only. So, otherwise what happened the examination center the superintendent or in charges they are not allowing you for some time. So, unnecessarily they create some disturbance to you. So, because you are not reach on time to the center. So, that is why you have to reach the examination center exactly one hour before so that you can be uh, safe ok. So, other uh, unnecessary tensions we can avoid so, examination day also very 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 important to get the marks ok. So, no need of any unnecessary tensions. So, that is why keep your uh, time uh, reaching the center should be one hour before ok and be cool in the examination hall that is very very important some students in the previous batches saying. So, when I am sitting in the examination hall my hands are shivering sir. So, do not take such excitations ok. So, be cool in the examination hall ok till the paper you are getting just memorize, memorize the concepts or just uh, pray the God ok and uh, do not excite very very important do not excite unnecessary excitation ko mat jao. So, be cool so cool rahane ke liye koshish karo 
and concentrate more concentrate on paper especially when you are reading the bits so incorrect statement correct statement ye dono ka kaha to bhi incorrect statement aaye to immediately inke paas underline karna okay not correct incorrect such statements ke paas you have to underline properly even in physics also sometimes they can ask such questions okay and especially while solving this physics paper i am already informed to make two rounds so in one round you will solve first level of questions level 1 type of questions uh, not much difficulty level questions then you can complete the whole 45 bits then come to second round because you know neat exam is a time constraint exam most of the students not getting time to complete the physics paper so that is why so you have to avoid that uh, point here so at least you have to cover all 45 bits in one round means all easy questions or answerable questions you are solved in the first round and second round then you can easily concentrate on difficult questions so that you can uh, solve difficult questions also because you have confidence you are having completed the paper one round so just second round is remaining so that is why your confidence level increases at that time so that the difficulty questions also you can solve without any mistakes so that you can get out of marks 180 out of 180 in physics so best of luck for this neat exam 2020 which is going to be held on september 13th okay thank you students thanks to satish sir for addressing us for guiding us and for motivating us thanks to all of you for listening to this session ummeed karta hu ki aap jam ke padhai karenge neet ka exam crack karenge doctor banenge country ko serve karenge society ko serve karenge aur of course apna fayda bhi karenge thanks a lot